Katie. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Piper and Cam finally had sex. I mean, it took three quarters of the book to get there. Oh my gosh, so much has happened. The sister, Winnie the Pooh, is what I'm calling her. Her name's Winnie, but I'm calling her Winnie the Pooh because I think that's a ridiculous name. Winnie still won't tell Piper that she's pregnant, but she'll tell everybody else. Just tell her, it's woman to woman. She'll tell all of the men in her life. I mean, I get it that it's Piper's like her sister slash mom, but oh, eventually though, the brother, Gavin, finally told Piper that he was a drug addict and he lost his job and he went to rehab and then, you know, this is post rehab. He's been having a time, hard time getting a job after rehab. So he came back home and lived with Piper as like a family. But Piper also has these secrets that she won't tell. She wants to sell the house. The house comes with a little bit of land and it also comes with these little cottages on the property that are separate from the house. Gavin has his own idea of fixing up the house and the cottages so that they could rent it out and get like an income that way. Piper, no, 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 sorry, not Piper. Winnie the Pooh, now that she's pregnant, she has this idea in her head, oh, I'll just, I'll just live here and my compensation or my idea of pitching in to the community pot would be learning how to fix things, like being a handyman. She starts watching YouTube videos on how to fix a toaster, their toaster's broken, which I'm like, if the toaster's broken, just buy a new toaster. Like, it's a toaster. But apparently it's the special toaster that belonged to their grandparents or something. And when you use it, it just explodes or it sets things on fire or something. Winnie the Pooh ends up fixing this toaster. I mean, meanwhile, Cam and, and Piper, they're just, they're just limited to these little, a kiss here, a kiss there. I mean, he helps her one day paint one of the cottages. But other than that, nothing happened for a long time. And, and they even went into, Gavin is getting more action. Gavin, his one and only true love, CJ. But something happened between them several years ago. Gavin just left. May had something to do with his drug problem or he just wanted to get out of the small town and go somewhere else. So his ex-boyfriend, he used to be this lanky little Latin boy and now he's this hot cop in town and he's now the responsible one. Whatever Gavin did to him years back, he's having a hard time forgiving him. The toaster blew something up or didn't blow up. It set something on fire, which set off the fire alarm, which had, which the neighbors heard the fire alarm and called the cops because they thought maybe someone was breaking into the house. CJ was the cop that was called to check it out. He knows Piper and he's like, hey Piper, um, some neighbors heard something. She's like, no, the toaster just set something on fire, it's fine. But Gavin was, was right there and that was the first time that he had seen CJ in years. He's all like, I'm sorry. And CJ's like, I don't believe you. But then a couple of days later, Gavin, by stalking him on social media, finds out where he lives and at midnight, goes to CJ's house. CJ's like, what are you doing here? And then things were okay enough for CJ to just pull him in and, you know, have his way with him. I mean, apparently that's all it takes. Piper's working long hours. They have a shortage of staff. Piper is an EMT. And then when she's not working, she's either sleeping, checking on Emmett and his diabetes, or painting a cottage on her property. Pam, on the other hand, has already gotten attached to Piper and he is already making plans to stay longer. He works for the DEA right now, okay? He would still have to go back to the East Coast to do SEAL training or the water training, whatever form of military that he is in. He put in a request to be stationed on the West Coast, which they're the closest station is 30 miles away from the town or 30 minutes from the town. He doesn't want to tell Piper this until it's official. He's going to have to leave to go back and do whatever kind of training in like two weeks. And Piper is still thinking this is temporary. Winnie the Pooh sets them up on this picnic. She makes both of them think that the they're individually meeting with her when in fact she's trying to set them up. She's trying to like make things, force things to happen. But that really just pisses Piper off. And she's like, 
stop meddling, I'll do this when I want to do it. And again, they ended up having another makeout session, but then didn't go any further. Piper's like, if Winnie set this up, then she's probably watching somewhere. But then one day after a 12 hour day, she was tired, but of course, you know, let's go check up on Emmett's diabetes. Before she gets to the house, she sees Cam shirtless. Well, you know, he had a wetsuit on. He was sitting at the edge of a dock. I don't know how big the lake is, but apparently he did a couple of rounds of swimming around the lake. So he had his wetsuit on. He had it pulled down to his waist and she sees him there and she is terrified of the water. Apparently she has this phobia of the water that has something to do with her childhood and one of her birthday parties. There was a canoe involved and the, the canoe had too many people in it and it tipsied over, tipsied, topsy turvied, um, turned over. And one of the girls thought it would be funny to dunk her. Well, she almost drowned. And then her grandpa, who was really, really old and died a couple of months after this accident, actually, he was the one that saved her out of the water. So she's terrified of the water enough that she will not, she's like having the hardest time walk out onto this boardwalk to get to Cam, just to talk to him. And it ends up that he's having a hard time because he's having a hard time emotionally right now because his brother who died in the car accident, who's Winnie's baby daddy, he was the driver of the car. It was another car that hit them, that hit the side of their car at like 60 miles an hour. It was the brother who got hit, whose side that got hit. He severed a couple of major arteries and like bled out and died. Cam didn't get hit at all. Cam always felt like responsible and apparently it was only like three months ago that this happened. So he's still processing all of that. Cam just sees Piper as this fabulous person because she also went through lots of horrible things. She lost her parents and her grandparents when she was, by the time she was a teenager, and she took it upon herself to raise her two younger siblings. And it just makes him fall in love with her more. So they connect over these emotional stories that they're, these secrets that they're telling each other. And of course they stop and then they start making out again. And then of course they stop again. They both are like, I really want to have sex with you, but we're outside let's go inside and he takes them to a boat one of the rooms in the boat so they have sex on the bed there and it was just mind-blowing sex they both had a great time they did it all night long until four in the morning she find piper finally woke up and went back home to get ready for work again and then that's when piper finds out and four in the morning she goes back home she hears her throwing up again piper has witnessed winnie the pooh throwing up a couple of times and she's like, well, maybe she has the flu. Um, I think it's time to go to a doctor. She's like, has nothing to do with a doctor and I'm fine. And then Piper finally figures it out. Oh, you're pregnant. I just really hope that everyone can continue to tell their secrets, but I have a feeling that something else is gonna happen that's gonna break things up again. I guess it's getting time that Cam has to go back to the East Coast for a little bit for his training or for his job, at least. I don't even know, I don't think he got an answer yet of whether he's gonna be stationed in the West Coast or not. Stay tuned for the next episode and we'll find out.